Good morning, everyone. My name is Albert Dada, and I'm a J1 scholar. And today I'm going to be talking about the early recruitment of neutrophils to the heart that is orchestrated by catecholamine demargination. Myocardial infraction, or MI, is one of the leading causes of death in today's world. Uh, the numbers of neutrophil infiltrating the heart during the disease is directly correlated with both the infarct size and the decline in the left ventricular ejection fraction. Now, our lab has previously shown that following MI, the number of neutrophils is increased in the blood and is further supplemented by a recruitment efflux from the bone marrow. Also, neutrophil depleted mice subjected to MI have worsened cardiac function and progressively develop heart failure, confirming the long-term role of neutrophil in cardiac repair. However, during the onset of the disease, the early neutrophil infiltration causes the severe damage is still of unknown origin. So to establish the source of early neutrophil infiltration, we devised a series of experiments. First, identifying the time frame through which neutrophil recruitment happens. Second, identifying the source of inflammatory neutrophils. And third, blocking the recruitment pathways. So the induction of MI results in rapid recruitment of neutrophils to the heart as early as six hours, reaching the summit at around 24 hours. To confirm that the source of neutrophil recruited in the first few hours was not due to granulopoiesis, which is the generation of neutrophils in the bone marrow, we performed the bone marrow depletion studies by exposing mice to whole body radiation. This led to complete depletion of the granulocyte monocyte progenitors from the bone marrow and the spleen as early as six hours post irradiation. When the bone marrow depleted mice were given myocardial infarction, similar numbers of neutrophils in the heart of both irradiated and non-irradiated mice was observed, suggesting that granulopoiesis was not the main source of neutrophil during the initial recruitment. Then irradiated mice were given myocardial infarction with one group of mice receiving dexamethasone, which is a glucocorticoid known for its role in inducing leukocytosis. As expected, the mice treated with dexamethasone did not show further increase in the number of infiltrated neutrophils, indicating that most of the neutrophils were already mobilized and that there were no more neutrophils left for dexamethasone to mobilize. Finally, since catecholamine stress is known to promote demargination, we treated the mice with inhibitor of catecholamine synthesis or beta blockers and studied the effect of myocardial infraction on neutrophils. Both strategies decreased the neutrophil recruitment to the heart, suggesting that MI induced catecholamine stress and demargination are the main triggers for neutrophil early accumulation in the heart. In conclusion, uncontrolled infiltration of neutrophil to the infarct, particularly during the early hours, may cause more harm than benefit to patients that suffered MI. Our data suggests that strategies aimed at preventing demargination of neutrophils by targeting catecholamine stress could result in lower tissue damage and a better resolution of injury. Thank you.